I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know what Siamese Mahjong is yet, it's when you play two hands at one time with one opponent. So instead of a four player game, there's just two of you. It's quite challenging and it really keeps you on your toes. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 28 tiles. Player 2, 27. Then we're going to look at each player's hands and see where the strengths lie so that we can find a direction. Maybe pick a category. Sometimes you can even pick a hand with all those tiles. You can really almost make anything work, which is one reason why Siamese Mahjong is so much fun to play. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one. Wow, look at that. Five jokers. We gotta play a quint. The challenge here is we have multiples that don't really fit the quints. Let's see, we could do maybe a consecutive quint. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. We could do, we have all the fours and a multiple. Maybe let's see. Let's nix the wins. Let's put all our two, three, four, five up here. Two, three, four, five. Maybe we can play the consecutive slash like number quint, the third one down. And then here we have a lot of seven, eight, nine. I think maybe we can get rid of these before we decide. We could do eight, nine, eight, nine, concealed pung hand under consecutive run. And then here we have two, four, two, three, four, three, four, five, pair. There's some consecutive in there. Let's just see what happens. We can start by discarding here. We really don't have to decide right away. So let's see now what we can do for player two. Wow, look at all those cracks. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, five. One, two, three. Gosh, if I had more jokers, I might try a quint there, but we need four cracks. If we drop this one, we could use this four for one, two, three, four, five. Maybe get rid of those. Use these down here. One, three, five, dragon. Three, four, five, four, five, dragon. We could do a year hand. We do have NW. There's nine tiles towards the year hand. All we need is white dragons. Right there. 
351. I think we could get rid of those and still not have to pick a hand. We're in between consecutive run, one through five, the very first hand under consecutive run, or a year hand, the concealed year hand. We don't have any white dragons, but we do have the joker. Then here we have three flowers. Maybe we could play like numbers with fives and three flowers. Five, five. Either way, we didn't use any of those. So just by process of elimination, we can get rid of those before we really have to decide. These dragons, maybe this red can go, except if we get a four crack, we could maybe even play a pair hand. One, two, three, four crack, five. I would maybe hold that too. We can get rid of those. Okay. We're ready to go. I'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is, and I'm going to bring you in closer. Okay, we're going to start by discarding. Let's discard the wins. Five dot. Let's get rid of the six crack. Five dot. Ooh. Hey, that, that's a pair. So two, three, four, five quint. We got a four there though. We don't have to play a quint. We could just go for double mahjong maybe instead of a quint. Cause then we'll get double the value of both hands, which would still be decent. Let's discard the West. Anytime I have lots of jokers, I want to play a quint. Let's draw. <gasps> White dragon. That hand is almost ready. Let's get rid of these tiles here. Five dot, or that's an eight dot. Eight dot. This is concealed. I would not take that with any of these jokers yet because I'd still like to try to see if we can do a quint. Let's see. Okay, let's draw. Ooh, four, four, four. I'm kind of thinking maybe we could keep that because we could do one through five, the first hand. Let's get rid of the two bam, because we don't need two twos if we play that quint with fours. And we have two, three, four, four, five, four, five, two, three. We've got the consecutive capability there if we decide to play the quint. So two bam was thrown. This player can't take that. I don't think they'd want to anyway. Okay, one bam. We still don't have to pick a hand, but little odds kind of looks good here. One, three, five, dragon. This would be the fourth hand down, fourth hand down under odds, but we'd have to throw away a pair Either way, I think we're going to have to throw away a pair. Let's go ahead and discard the six dot. One crack. That's not helpful. We'll throw that. One crack. Up here, I'm thinking the news year hand, and they have what they need there. That's concealed anyway. They could play one, two, but... They could do like one, two, three with flowers, but this hand right here is pretty solid, I think. Let's see here though. Maybe they could do one, two, three, 
one three five. If they did one three five, that's concealed anyway. And then up here, play one three five. So basically, these would go away and those would go away. They're kind of in between a year hand and little odds, no matter how you slice it. Although you could do one, two, three consecutive run. You'd still have to throw away two pair. They're not always going to come together. Let's, let's leave the one because here we really don't need it for a concealed hand anyway. Let's draw. Eight. We really don't need the eight because if we play that year hand, we just need a pair. Either way, we really don't need the four. Let's discard the four bam. Four bam. Down here, we could take it for a quint. That would leave three jokers up and only two jokers to play with. I wouldn't do that. I'd rather draw. Okay, so we got a two. One, two, three, four, five. That would use three pair. Let's go ahead and get rid of the two bam. We could still maybe make the quint work. I probably should have gotten rid of the two crack or the five crack instead because there's already a four bam out. I'm kind of thinking maybe the quint, even though you have all those jokers, it might be better to try for a double mahjong instead of a quint and a concealed. So we have four, 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 three. I just discarded. Okay, we don't have to decide just yet. Let's draw. Oh my goodness, look. Eights. We could not have planned that. Joker bait. Let's discard the five dot. Down here. Three crack. Three, four, five. Maybe we could use this for the quint. We'd have to throw away all those though. Well, let's get rid of the two crack anyway. Maybe this still will work. I would still love to play a quint. We'll see. So two crack. This is, if we play the year hand, that's concealed and we already have a pair. So we're good there. Four dot, we don't need it. Four dot. Down here, we have to decide. I think I'd rather go for a double mahjong than a quint. So let's pung. It's natural. We can use these elsewhere. So we could use one with the three, one with the five, and that hand is set. All we need is a one as a pair. And then we can use these down here with the eight, nine concealed pung hand. We don't have to place those yet. Get rid of these. This is joker bait. So all these can go away. Let's discard seven dot and let's try for a double mahjong here. Up here we can draw nine crack. Oh my goodness. All right, eight, nine, eight. I don't think that's gonna be good anyway. Let's throw it. I think we're better off where we were. Let's draw. White dragon. I don't think we need it. I'm gonna discard a white. Valuable tile, early in the game. Get rid of it if you're not gonna use it. 
Here, this is concealed. 9 bam, we don't need that. That's concealed. 1 bam, we can throw that. Concealed. Unless we Kong it, but use our only Joker, I would not do that. I'd rather stay concealed. Five dot, discard. Here, we can Kong. So one Joker is out. This hand is one away from ready. We need a three dot and a one dot. Let's discard. We have eight, nine, eight, joker bait. These are all discards. Let's go ahead and get rid of the nine crack. It's already out. Three bam, one, three, five dragon. Let's count. Let's see if we played one, three, five in both hands. Same hand, one, three, five concealed. Either way, we don't need these eights. We don't need to count. Let's just get rid of the eights. Simplify. Just get rid of what you know you don't need. There's no way we can use that eight. South. Nobody wants wins. Well, this player does, but he can't call for a single. Seven, one, three, five, seven. We already threw away two nines. Discard. Let's not muddy the waters. Draw. Nine bam. That's a keeper. Keeper. Very nice. Okay, so here, one, two, three, four, five. First hand, joker bait. We'll discard these. Four bam. They don't want it. Six bam, that's a discard. Okay, we just got through the second wall. We're going into the third wall, which is the middle game. Everybody should know what they're doing. Here, eight, nine, concealed pung hand under consecutive run. First hand under consecutive run, one through five. Joker bait, two discards, so four discards. Here, we were in between, or we're still kind of in between a year hand or one, three, five concealed both hands. Just really one discard, but we have all these if that, if we go that way and all these, if we go this way, oh no, it would be these with this. So all those would go away. Interesting. So, we're drawing down here. We just threw a six bam and threw it. So this player draws seven, eight. Well, we could keep it maybe and get rid of these. Five crack, this is concealed. Three dot, we don't need that. Three dot, we're gonna pung it. You really don't have to put them in order during the game. So we're ready to win on a one dot. Let's throw the three crack. I hope we can draw it. We might have to declare Mahjong out of, you know, individually, which you wouldn't get double for both. You'd only get double for the second if it comes to that. We're only two away though. So three crack was thrown. This is concealed. One dot. We don't need that. One dot. Down here. We can take that for a Mahjong. But do we wanna wait and do double Mahjong? That's the first one dot out. We know they don't need it. Let's wait. Let's see if we can get double Mahjong. Red Dragon. There's three more one or two more one dots out. 
So let's just see what happens. Red dragon, this is concealed. Flower. Okay, the year hand does not use flowers. Let's go ahead and give up on the year hand. Eight crack. These will all go away. We can use this in here. So these are just cards. Now we're going to draw. I don't think, let's see, four, 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 three. Okay, here we go. Joker. Okay, let's see. We'll discard four crack. We could use these there in here. We have two discards for this hand. Four crack. Oop, flower. We don't need it though. We only need pears. Either way, let's get rid of the white dragon. Two crack. So this is not good joker bait nor are the eights, because nobody wanted them. We got a six. Let's get rid of the wins. Six dot. Six bam. Flower. That's good. This hand is ready to win on any of these tiles, eight, nine, eight, nine, any of them will be a winner. Seven bam. They're one away from double mahjong. Three bam. That's a keeper. North. Eight bam. That's mahjong. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Mahjong, we're going to wait, discard the eight, uh, four crack, and we're ready to win on a one dot. And this player knows it. If there's three exposures, you can tell what they need. South. It's pretty early in the game, though. You might think, well, maybe they're not ready. Seven bam. Green. Let's get rid of the flower. I think I would want to discard those as early as possible if I'm not going to use them. Let's see, we probably should use this down here. There's one red dragon out, so this is still viable. We need three. We could always use a joker. So here we're going to draw. Five crack. So that is concealed and there is one out so we have to use this there four bam three bam this is good six dot Seven crack. Nine crack. We need a one dot. Nine crack. Ooh, exchange, please. Thank you. Six crack. South. Six bam. Four bam. Seven crack. Nine dot. Same. 
Maybe they can go pure. No jokers. We'll see. Seven dot. We need a one dot. No. Six crack. Five bam. Keeper. Oh, man. Two crack. Wow. Maybe they can do a double mahjong. We need to draw. One dot. One dot. One dot. Five bam. Okay, up here. Here we go. Six dot. We need that one bam for a double mahjong. This is uh, two, one more pick each after this for the third wall. Nine dot. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. Same. Maybe they can do this pure. There's a nine bam out. There's an eight dot out. This can go pure, which would double the value. Nine dot. Here we go. Last tile, third wall. Is it a one dot? No. Green. Okay, up here, we could declare Mahjong. Flower, one, three, five, dragons. We're going into the end game. Okay. One, three, five, dragon. Three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14. So technically we could take that for a win. There's still one more green dragon out and that would use a tile that we could use down here and maybe do double mahjong. Since the dragon is out, this player threw it. We know this player doesn't need a green. So let's wait and see if we could do double mahjong. Oh, shoot. This is the hard part of playing Siamese mahjong. Do you wait for double mahjong or do you declare? We're going into the end game. Let's declare. That's when you really want to decide if you're going to declare or go double because timing is critical with this game. If you do not declare hand and your opponent puts up a double mahjong, you do not get credit for your winning hand. Let's discard the two crack and just have them try for two mahjongs instead of a double. All right, two crack was thrown. This player's turn. Two dot. East. Two bam. Incidentally, this joker is locked. Once you declare Mahjong, any jokers are locked in place. Four dot, we're good to go there. We need a one dot, six crack. Three dot. North. Four crack. Let's get rid of the eights. That can go still. Four crack. Yeah. Eight dot. It doesn't matter. The eight crack nobody wanted. Nobody wanted the four either. Whoops. Two bam. Now this player should probably think about declaring since they declared. I might declare again, but I'm hoping for double mahjong. Two dot. We know that's safe. Okay, here we go. One dot, maybe, huh? One dot? Yes. Double mahjong. We got the double. Now you put the hand in order. One. Two. 
two, three. That was almost pure if we could have gotten rid of that five. But I think it might have been thrown earlier. I don't remember. Yeah, very early in the game. Double Mahjong. So it's a good thing they declared because now that hand can offset the payout. So they're going to get double for this one and double for this one. This is a 25 point hand, so that's going to be 50. This is a 30 point hand, so that's going to be 30 and 60. So 60. So it'll be 50 and 60. So that's 110. 110, and they picked it themselves. This player has a 30 point hand. So they will be able to offset that payment to this player. Or if you're taking score on a sheet, they will get credit for this hand. 30 points. But this one would be 50 and 60, so 110. Two away. That was a pretty tight race, actually. That was rather exciting, I must say, and I was really hoping to draw that one dot because I had given it up earlier. Do you hold on for double mahjong or do you take a win? In this case, it worked for them because they got that double mahjong. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do so you get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire, for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.